God bless you guys with a wonderful day that the Lord has given us once again. I'm back with videos again for the Lord. To explain myself, I got a job. The Lord gave me a job and sometimes I work later. Sometimes I work in the morning and when I get home, sometimes I be tired. And it's depending on the day, what am I doing at work? The Lord, I have to ask for the Lord for strength and he's given me. He has given me strength, and I'm back, and there's no stopping. We got to keep pushing. We in the end times. Today, we're going to read Psalms 20, but we in the end times. Everything in this world is temporary. My job is temporary. The Lord is not. The Lord is coming soon. It's not to scare anybody. He's coming for his people. He's coming for the people, for the rapture. But for those who stay, will suffer through the Antichrist. And the new believers that believe in God during those times, that it's going to be harder for them. Because they're going to either have to hide from the Antichrist or get persecuted. But it's not to scare you. But just know, I'm back with videos. Better than for God, we're going to make this channel grow for the Lord. Because I want to reach people. I want you guys to reach your families with this video. I'm going to share this video on Facebook like I have been doing. But just so you know, we live in the end times and a lot of social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is, you share a video, the media might take it down. And that includes Facebook. Facebook might take down videos of Christian stuff, which they will. It has happened throughout Facebook. It happened more on Facebook than it is on Instagram. So that's why I'm going to be posting my videos on YouTube. YouTube did not take down my videos. But guess what? Turn on the post notifications. Because Facebook is starting to take down a lot of videos about Christians. And other social media. And I'm going to share this on Facebook and Instagram. But it's already on my YouTube channel. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because you already know we in the end times. And people is going to take down Christian videos. Because we're trying to do God's work and spread the gospel. And you guys, don't be ashamed. Spread the gospel as well, just like what I'm doing. Do it for the Lord. If social media or anybody tries to take it down, you make another video and keep on putting that video back up. Because we're in the end times. And things are getting crazy. But with the Lord gives us strength, we will overconquer that. And that's what the Lord wanted me to say right now before I read Psalms 20. But let's pray. Dear Father God, we come to your presence, Lord. We thank you for this day. We thank you for giving us strength, Lord, in the times when we don't have strength, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for this word that's going to be read by me. Lead me in the Holy Spirit. Guide me. Help this video reach people how many it can before the enemy is going to attack and use social media to delete your, your glory, God, your word, your gospel. Because that's what the enemy wants to do. We use social media for the good, and the enemy is going to use it for the bad and try to take down videos, even on YouTube. But guess what? We're going to fight. Because with your strength, with your power, Lord, and your son, in the name of Jesus, the enemy will not succeed. We will keep on preaching the gospel. We will do what we got to do until the day you come for your church, until the day you come to reign on the earth, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Guide us. Protect our friends. End this COVID-19 soon and guide me in the word that's going to be read in Psalms 20. Amen. Amen. The word is read. The word is read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the chore director, a psalm of David. In times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Now I know that the Lord rescues his anointing, anointed king. He will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him by his great power. Some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. 
Those nations will fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Give victory to our king, O Lord. Answer our cry for help. Amen. This is a beautiful word, guys. Psalms 20. Basically, um, this is a psalm of David crying about troubles. Like, you know, he's pleading to the Lord. He's telling the Lord, please answer our prayers, answer our heart's desires. But the thing is, when it says, may he grant your heart's desires, the Lord will grant your heart. Whatever you want, whatever you feel in your heart, he will grant those desires if 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 it's part of his plan. Because don't remember, if you read Proverbs 3 and, you, and if you read Jeremiah 29, the first, the, first, the first video I made, Jeremiah 29, I believe I did Proverbs 3 too. The first book, the first chapter in the Bible I read was Jeremiah 29. For, it says it right here on my notebook, right? I have it on my notebook. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. And this is, this is what it say. It says on verse 1, may, uh, second part, May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. He will prosper us, the Lord, for his glory. Yes, we could pray. It says, May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. He will make our plans succeed if it's part of his plan. So don't confuse that. But if you ask for something in prayer, which it says here, may we shout for joy when we hear of your victory. When we hear of God's victory, we got to shout for joy. And raise for victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. The Lord will answer all our prayers. We just got to put faith in Him. We got to trust in Him so He could deliver our prayers of what we want in lives, what our heart desires. But just remember, if you pray for something and you desire it in your heart and it doesn't come true, the Lord does not fulfill that plan. It's because that wasn't God's plan for you. So don't get it mixed up. When you guys pray... Trust me, when you guys pray, there's prayers that I have done. I have prayed. I have prayed. I wanted a car, a Honda. I want a Honda Accord. I pray that I get a Honda. But the Lord given me another car. I don't drive yet, but the Lord has given me another another car. It's called a Pontiac Tor Torrent. I love, for example, I wanted to work at the movie theater or I wanted to work at a, at, at a restaurant, right? The Lord gave me a supermarket. He he gave me Big Y. I wasn't really thinking of working at Big Y because Big Y, a lot of people go there and we in a pandemic, but the Lord put me there. I wanted I wanted that job. My uniform over there, I wanted it. I'm giving you an example what Psalm 20 is saying. I wanted that job. But I said, Lord, if it's not your plan, don't give me that job. But it was his plan, so he gave me that job. And that goes for us when we pray. When we pray, we should pray sincerely. Pray to the Lord what desires in our heart. Pray to the Lord so He could grant those desires, but for His purpose, for His plan. Because if it's something that you're praying about that the Lord says no, is no. Because sometimes people like to pray about the same thing over and over, about one particular thing, and it doesn't happen because that's the Lord. And the Lord is saying, that's not part of my plan, Jaden. That's not part of my plan, Um you guys, that's not part of my plan. He's going to say, that's not part of my plan, Jaden. Stop stop praying for that. I, I have something better for you. So don't get those things confusing. But things that you pray about, he will grant. Like for example, my mom, she's been praying about a house. And look, God says she's going to get a house one way or the other. And she's going to get a house. Because the Lord is so powerful. Psalms 20 and everything in the Bible shows how God is good and he is powerful. Because when you read this verse, how... Some nations will boast of their chariots and horses. Like right now, na na back in the day, nations was boasting about chariots and horses. You know what this also means? Nations, including the United States and other nations, boast about their military, about their missiles, about this, about that, about rich, about money, or like that. That's all. They boast about that. But we need a nation. Those nations... We have something to show you. Yeah, Sorry, my bad. That was my siblings. They like to interrupt me sometimes. My bad. But anyways, like I was saying, don't mind them. They be too loud. I have family, and sometimes they come in my room. So I told them when I do video to not open because, you know, I'm doing video for God. But anyways, what it says, 
It says, but we boast in the name of the Lord of God. So some nations, some nations boast about the chariots and horses and other things as well, which it doesn't say on Psalms 20, but nations do boast about other things. Then it says, those nations will fall down, but we, it says, but we will boast in the name of the Lord our God. We, we, the church, church, when the church is united in one spirit, we will boast about the Lord because the Lord is good and he's good to boast about. We say, God. Not boast like, oh, God gave me this and God ain't going to give you the same thing I have. No, no, no. You should boast. If you're going to boast about the Lord, boast the right way. Say, God is good. If you see what God did in my life, God could do the same thing in your life, but even better. Because in the Bible it says, the Lord has a plan for every single one of us. And whatever plan you have, nobody can take that away from you. Not even the enemy. You can't let the enemy take away the plans you have. For the plans that the Lord has for me, is for me. With the plans that the Lord has for you, is for you. Nobody has that. Because the Lord says we're going to do great works. Just like Jesus, his son, which is the Lord in the flesh, did on earth. Yes, Jesus suffered through temptations. But Jesus never sinned. Jesus, Jesus did struggle as a human being but he never sinned but if we read out give victory to our king O lord answer our cry for help give victory you always give the lord the victory when the lord fights for your battles you give him victory you praise him glory to god to him and 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 and, and then it says answer our cry for help david this is this is a psalm of david he's asking for the Lord's help. He's crying out for his help because he's struggling. Just like us human beings, we struggle. We're all sinners. If anybody tells you they're not a sinner, that's that's a, that's a lie from the enemy. Us human beings, we're not perfect. We will make mistakes. But each day, each day we have to be a better person like we was before. And yes, it's going to be hard because even me as a person, I struggle. And I'm a young person. There's a lot of things that young people like. like they like materialistic things. They like this. They like that. Don't get me wrong, like, you, Jaden, Jaden, I'm not perfect. People, people think, you know, I was a nice, nice little boy, but, like, in reality, I was a nice, nice little boy, but I made, I, I, I made mistakes in my life. I'm not going to lie to you, I made mistakes. I told you my whole story. I used to live in New York. I, I, I used to go downstairs by myself to the, to the bus, and, you know, God protect me. I used to, I used to, whatchamacallit, the parties and stuff like that, but that was the past. That was the old. I want to. It's time to bring out the new. But the thing is, Psalm Psalm twenty and everything in Psalm is good motivation. It's good motivation and it's good for everything. Cause it says, before that, it says, now I know that the Lord rescues His anointed King. He will answer him from His holy heaven and rescue him by His great power. He will rescue. Those who put faith in him and trust in him from heaven. He hears us. Sometimes, i be honest. This, sometimes I pray, I feel like God doesn't hear me. But he does. He's listening. And sometimes when we pray, we also have to listen to what God has to say. Because yes, God wants us to pray and talk to him and ask him questions. If you have any questions, any doubt, put, all he, put everything, put your... Any worries, put it towards God. Let Him handle it. Let Him fight your bodies. Let Him guide you. Let Him use you for His glory. But there's times, yes, you feel like the Lord is not in your presence. There's times where you feel spiritually down. And it has happened to me. Like, for example, like I told you, sometimes when I come from work, sometimes all I want to do is lay down and relax. Because I stand on day. What I do is bagging. I bag groceries. Now, that now, I praise God. I thank God. Yesterday, I was... Yes, not yesterday. On Thursday, I was gonna go to work, and you know, I just thought it was another day of bagging because I liked it. I like working at this job, but me doing bagging every day, it was good. But then after a while, I didn't really enjoy it because I'm a service clerk. I'm supposed to do whatever that's needed, but I guess the job needs a lot of bagging. But the Lord, He grant me. I prayed. I was like, Lord, today, make my day, make my day at work, make my day. Please, Lord, guide me and protect me at work. And look what the Lord did. Unexpectedly, 
he had me doing carts. And I've been wanting to do carts with the groceries, putting the carts back, driving the little cart thing to give to the elderly and forever. Those little cart thingies, carts that if people can't walk, I've been wanting to do that. You know, give it to the people, help the people outside. And the Lord has done it. The Lord works in mysterious ways. He has mysterious plans for everybody. So whatever is your plan, that's for you. Whatever is mine, is for me. The Lord says, whatever you have, whatever he gives you, is for you, is for nobody else. The plan that he has for you, is for you to prosper. And give him the glory as well. For you. But Psalms 20, especially is a Psalm of David. And David is crying out to the Lord. He's telling the Lord. He wants to raise victory. He says, may we shout joy when we hear your victory and raise victory banner in the name of our God. Psalms 20, word of motivation. Psalms is the word of motivations. It's to bring us joy and happy. And that's what Psalms do. Everything in the Bible does that because God is good. But to sum this up, Psalms 20 is basically saying, may, like it says on verse 2 and 3, May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he re remember all your gifts and look favorably onto your burnt offerings. May he grant our heart desires. Remember, he will grant our heart desires. But if, but whatever we desire in our heart that we want the Lord to grant us and we pray about it. Because it says the Lord will answer all our prayers. He will. But if we pray about something about something in our heart desires if it does not come from God it's not going to come it's not going to come to true as a plan if it's not God's plan God is going to tell you stop praying for that because I already said no you could keep praying but for right now I want you to do this Jaden or for right now I want you to do this no matter who it is just don't get that confused but Psalms 20 is pretty pretty good word the nations will fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Nations will fall down and collapse. It's happening now. Right now, riots, looting, war around the world. But we, the church, us Christians, we got to stand firm. Got to stand firm in the spirit and not let us be deceived by the enemy and his false prophets. Because they are going to be false prophets claiming they're Christians. But at the end of the day, they're not Christians. They're puppets of the enemy, of the devil. So we must be prepared. And when I post this video, share this with everybody. Share this with your family. Don't be ashamed. You guys spread the gospel either. Don't be ashamed. Because the enemy wants to fear you. But to end this off, I'm going to post this on Facebook and Instagram as well, probably. But just remember, beware. If videos are being taken down, it's because that's the enemy attacking social media to use Facebook to take, on, take down Christian stuff. And we can't let it happen. But God bless you guys. I'm back with more videos. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to be back. If the Lord gives us another day, I declare it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to be back. And this channel is going to be stronger than ever than it was before. With the Lord's strength. Glory to God. God has this channel. And I believe it. Amen. So let's pray. Dear Father God, we come to your presence, Lord. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you have done for us spiritually and materialistically that you wanted us to have. Give us another day tomorrow. Give me the strength when I get out of work to do videos for you, Lord. To, for this channel to grow because you have revealed to me that this channel has big plans Lord with the youth and the youth that want to be on this channel from the church I go to or even youth that watches this video that from that they don't even live near me that they're just people on YouTube friends on YouTube that live in other states that want to be on this channel because this channel is going to grow and when it grows it's going to be for your glory I'm going to spread the word until we can't no more until you rapture your church lord so we thank you for this day cure covid19 and covid19 help those help us forgive us for our sins forgive the world for their sins help the world help us be guided in the holy spirit in this corrupt world so we thank you lord in the name of the father the son amen. and the holy spirit amen amen god bless you guys what a wonderful day that the lord has given us remember
we in the end times. It's starting right now. The end times started already. And the Lord, a lot of churches, like I told you before, a lot of churches around the world. God's true church, 2020 vision. We thought 2020 vision was, was going to actually, you know, to wake up. And we, we have to wake up. Because everybody preached. Telling you, a lot of churches, even my church, we preach about 2020 vision. And even the pastors, family, even myself, 2020 vision, we were supposed to keep our eyes open. We preached about it. Our churches preached about it. And we was keeping our eyes open. But until one day, a blink of an eye, COVID-19 happened. Fires happened. Rumors of wars happen. This happened. Murder hornets happen. The Lord is telling us to wake up. And don't wake up now. The Lord told us in 2019 that 2020 vision is a vision. And it's to wake up now. Because we are in the end times. We don't know when the Lord is going to come rapture his church. It could be any day. It could be 10 years from now, 5 years. doesn't matter. We don't know when the Antichrist is going to be revealed, you know, after. The, we don't know when he's going to be revealed. He is going to be revealed after the rapture, but we don't know when the rapture is going to happen and stuff like that. So we just got to be ready with God and pray and every single day. Pray and ask for guidance and forgiveness because God is real, I'm telling you. Some people think God is not real, but he's real, I'm telling you guys. If you guys are... Not believers, and you're watching this video, and you guys want to come to Christ, you made the best decision of your life. Because God is coming. And when He comes, that's it. You're either going with Him, or going to hell. So, God bless you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Bible encouragement. I declare in the name of Jesus, there will be one tomorrow, and days after that. And I declare in the name of Jesus... That whoever is taking their permit during this pandemic, including myself, you guys will pass. I will pass. And I declare in the name of Jesus that we will all be saved. If you follow the Lord, we will be saved. We will be guided. We will fulfill God's plan for Him. God bless you guys. Amen. Good night if you guys are going to sleep now. But I'm just going to say good night because it's almost evening. But... God bless you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Amen.